thank you all for uh, for coming along to this virtual conference. First time we've done a an online conference with IG Pilot, and under some rather extraordinary circumstances. Um, and as I mentioned a minute ago, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all in Canberra next year, uh, in April, when we're uh, going to be having hopefully a face-to-face -face conference. Um, so this first session is just sort of a just a quick welcome and going over some of the how we're going to be running the conference, and um, then we'll just open up to general chatter before we start the the first talk in um, in about half an hour's time. Um, so. Uh, so the, this is the first year we've been online and as I said thank you everyone for adapting to the unusual uh, circumstances. Thank you to the many people who've um, offered to give talks. We've got a, a great set of talks lined up. Um, so the, the first day today, the focus for today's talks is on documentation. Um, the intention was when we were holding into the hotel that we were going to get a, a small conference room and have people uh, just as a round table working on the documentation to try to get the documentation sorted out. So we've got a, a long session today that Henry's going to lead um, and we're going to be running through current documentation issues and how we might improve the documentation and the and also the website and, and related uh, materials. Um, we're also having a session on uh, bugs uh, led by Peter Barker. Uh, where we're going to be having a look at um, some of the critical bugs we've had in the last year and have a brainstorming session for how we can reduce the number of bugs in the future. And then Saturday and Sunday is our main sort of general talks and they're more the technical talks talking about the general IG pilot development. So a few tips for, for using Zoom. Um, when you're not the speaker, please disable video. And if you're a co-host and you see somebody displaying video um, while, uh, while there is a, a speaker talking, then please disable their video. Um, and if you are the speaker, then you should have video enabled. So hopefully my video is enabled at the moment. I've just discovered that I can't see myself. I can't see my video while I've got a full screen open, so which is a bit yep. unfortunate. Yep. So... Yep. So also, Achilles, keep yourself muted unless you're asking a question. Um, you can also use the text chat sidebar to ask questions. But one thing to note is that the speaker, if they're presenting full screen, they unfortunately can't see that text chat sidebar, which means we'll have to get one of the other moderators to sort of um, you know, unmute and, and say that there's a question if it's appropriate for during the talk. Otherwise, we can have questions at the, at the end of the talk um, for some of the types, it depends on the talk. Some if talks will be a dual screen. You can uh, move the chat over to the other screen, and then you can see it. Ah, that's a very good idea. I might see if I could organise that for later for my main talk. I do have two monitors. Yes, thanks very much, Craig. Well, I'm guessing that's Craig. Um, so um, great, thank you. So there's several people who are going to be co-hosts. Um, I've got three or four people at the moment who are co-hosts. And you may find that you get muted by the co-hosts during, uh, during the talks. Uh, they might disable your video. We'll usually do it in such a way that you can re-enable, but um, please take the hint if they disable your video or audio that, that maybe it's causing an issue. Um, we're gonna be recording all the talks and they'll be put up on YouTube um, in the next few days. Uh, thank you very much to Louis for being the audio visual person for the conference and for volunteering to do editing. Uh, there's a couple of hotkeys that are very useful when using Zoom. Um, Alt-A to toggle your audio mute and Alt-V for toggling the video mute. Um, uh, so really useful when you want to ask questions just to you know, enable your audio and then um, ask the question and then, then mute yourself again immediately afterwards. So um, that's really about it. Any, any questions at all about, about using Zoom today, particularly from the speakers? All right, so um, the full schedule is available. There's a link there in the slides. You should have all seen the link as well on the chat. And um, many thanks to Louis for last night turning that into a Google Calendar, uh, which will translate it into your own local time zone. 
uh, you need to import it into your Google Calendar because it, the, it's written in GMT and then when you import it to your calendar, it'll switch to your time zone. Uh, it's terribly useful. When you're looking at the schedule, if you're looking at the main uh, Google Sheet schedule, please note the time zones carefully uh, and make sure you can translate to your own time zone. Um, we've tried to organise the talks so that the speakers speak where possible in a reasonable time for their own time zone. Um, that hasn't been possible for everyone, but it should be, uh, that, that's the reason why the, the talks are split into the morning and evening in Canberra time, so that the morning talks are better suitable for the US uh, attendees and speakers, and the evening talks are more suitable for the European uh, attendees and speakers. And um, speakers, uh, when you have a slides link, please send it. Um, uh, or if it's a document, we can put it up on a Google Drive. Um, it'd just be nice for people to be able to follow along the slides, have a copy of the slides. Um, you don't have to provide the slide link before your talk, but it is preferred if you can. And um, between talks, we've deliberately scheduled it as a full hour for each talk, uh, or two hours for some, like the documentation one. And um, it's quite likely that some of the talks will go for less than the hour, and but we'll still start on the hour so people know, what, you know when the particular talk they wanted to attend is starting. And then in between time, we'll just have general discussion. Um, and so people are free to sort of unmute themselves and chat generally and uh, maybe grab a cup of coffee and that sort of thing while they're um, in between talks. So, um, so that's really it. Um, and uh, so any questions at all about the general organization of the conference? All right, so, um, and I realized that entire time, I didn't share my screen, did I? Uh, not yet. I mean, none of you actually saw any of my slides there. So. Speakers, um, <laughs> oh. when you go to full screen to share, uh, remember to actually show the slides like it was supposed to be like this. <laughs> right, there you go. So I, so uh, there was a demonstration of what not to do as a speaker. You should actually- no, That was hard to run for her. I mean, you can start again. I can, well, uh, I don't think everyone really wants it to go again. But uh, yes, anyway, so that was the slides. Oh, that's a major mistake by the organiser, isn't it? Um, so there was the nice slides that I carefully made yesterday and meant to, to show people, and uh, which didn't work at all. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, what was that? I just call it a review. Uh, I can't actually hear that. The audio wasn't quite good enough. Hello. Hello. And if you don't mind Trudge in the background. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, there's the slides. And um, so I guess Louis could do some magic later and turn it into and undo my mistake, maybe. But don't, don't put too much effort into it, Louis, because it's, this is the least important talk of the entire conference. Um, and, and you could uh, repeat your slides at the beginning of each day, uh, just for the new people who are joining, just so they're aware of the way it's all supposed to work. Because not everybody's here right now. Yeah, that's that's true. Or uh, also, the the link is there as well, um, so anyone can just click the link and bring up these slides. It's in the uh, it's in the schedule. So if you if I click on the schedule there. Uh, up, that's not the right one. So, ha, huh, it didn't show up. That brought up my motor thrust one, which there's the schedule. Yes. And um, so you'll notice that there's links in the schedule here. And that link will take you, for example, to the, uh, to the slides, if I do that correctly, like that. And that'll take you to those slides that I've just done. And similarly, the, the first one we've got after this is the managing safety notices with James and Stephen. Um, and so we've now got 20 minutes, so there you go. Um, I thought people might like to have a little bit of time just to chat at the start and to get set up before the, uh, for the first talk. Um, unless you think your talk, James, might take more than half an hour, in which case we could start it early. Um. <laughs> 
it shouldn't take more, it won't take anywhere near half an hour to go through the slide pack, but the, initial, the intent of this presentation isn't so much to present something, but to kick off a conversation. So yeah. the conversation at the end can take as long or as little as we want it to. Yes, yes, that's, well, what do people think? Do we, um, we allowed a bit more time for that, that welcome than I originally intended? Uh, then I allowed more time than we actually needed. So we could kick off the sort of managing safety notices, or we could just have a general chatter for a little while. Any thoughts? Well, I need more coffee. But uh, uh, well, that sounds like a good <laughs> idea. Keep, keep the schedule, Rich. It's better. Okay. <laughs>